Healthy Recycler. I'm so glad you could join me today. My channel is all about recycling things like plastic bottles and turning them into beautiful, useful craft items like this lamp that you see here, which is what we're going to make today. Now this lamp is great for gifts and it makes a nice night light. Um, people could give it to school teachers, to their mothers, to their friends, or just have it for themselves. And it's such a fun project to make and it's so rewarding to look at when it's done to think that you can take bottles like these and make them into something beautiful like this. So I'm not going to do the whole project um, because I, am, I realize your uh, time is valuable to you. So what I've done is 90% of basically the decorating of the project today. But I will talk about what I have done already so that you know what you need to do if you want to do the project. Also, I'm going to um, save the materials list for the end and put it below the video this time instead of mentioning everything you need to save time. Now, this one, um, as you can see, is a different shape. It's a rounded bottle. And this was the top of the vinegar bottle that I have here that I cut off. And I'm going to be honest, I don't remember which bottle I used for this. So what I did was I picked up this Bay coconut water um, to show you that it's a similar shape and you can use so many different types of bottles. And they really got me with the copy on this. I was reading it and it says, in short, this bottle is like paradise itself. Better start practicing your hula. And I was like, okay, sounds good. Anyway, um, so I'm going to move these ones aside so that I can focus on showing you how to finish this one that I'm actually working on here. And as you can see, again, it's a different shape of bottle. And this one was simply orange. And I love this one because I think it sort of has a neat little mini lamp shape to begin with the body of it. And then um, for the actual thing, as you see, I've glued on top of here with hot glue. This little, these are salad dressing containers that they give you from restaurants to, you know, take home things. You just glue it on here upside down and then once you have that done you start decorating. Now to decorate I bought Martha Stewart's uh, washi tape and also I think it was Recollections brand for the floral pattern. And what I did was I took the wider washi tape and I just put it in lines all the way down the base of the bottle. Then I took the thinner washi tape as you see here and I did linear uh, all the way up the neck of the bottle to decorate it. And then um, I took this other shinier uh, washi tape and I put it around the rim up at the top here. So each bottle has its own individual characteristics so you know you can go crazy with whatever you want to do with this and not to mention there are so many types of washi tape on the market like different patterns that like I walk in Michaels and I'm like I don't even know which one to get because I love them all. But anyway, um, what I've done is I've put this on this side and then I've trimmed out everything with the, this, this jewel trim, which again, I love you walk in Michaels. It's right there in the bin near the register on the way to the register. So what I'm going to do just briefly is I'm going to show you how to apply the washi tape on the other side of this because I want it to look just like this side. Now you can measure, but I'm just going to go ahead and stick this on here. And I center it um, and just roll it down and stick it and then just trim it with some scissors to and you can kind of eyeball what the other side of the bottle looked like how far you took it down and then just snip it to where you want it to be see that how it is there and then how it is there so now that I have this on what I want to do and I've already pre-cut the jewel tape because of the sake of time and I'm going to go ahead and trim that trim that out by applying this jewel tape this is self-adhesive and the trick about this is and I mentioned this in other videos too when you're using this you just have to make sure that the glue comes with off with the jewels instead of sticking to the paper because otherwise your jewels are not going to stick to the project so just take the jewel tape and put it where the um, washi tape edge is there. As you can see how that starts trimming it out. And I'm going to do the other side with the other piece. And if you get like little air bubbles under the washi tape, just smooth it out. And um, actually what I did on this project too, 
was um, when I was done with the basic washi tape, I put some Mod Podge on to make it like on the neck look shinier. Um, the glossy Mod Podge, you don't have to do that, but I just did that as sort of make it look more glassy looking instead of plastic. So I did want to mention too that we have a website where I'll be selling these things that I've completed and the my husband's website is called dogsrideforfree.com and he has a lot of his artwork on there and um, I'm gonna have the things that I complete on there and put them up for sale if anyone's interested because I know some people uh, may not really want to or have the time to make the project but they might actually want to have it or give it to a friend as a gift so that option will be there shortly um, I will have that on that website and also if you enjoy my videos if you could hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet if you could subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell it will alert you to upcoming videos and I appreciate all those who have subscribed and like my videos um, your support is really very much appreciated and see this jewel tape <laughs> this jewel tape is doing that it sometimes it doesn't want to let go of that paper okay there we go now so you see how we just stick it on there and now you have it nice and trimmed out like the other side okay so what I've done is the lid now the lid was believe it or not the top of the prune juice bottle and all my life I always thought hey the prune juice bottle was brown you know prune juice is brown but I did not realize until I took the label off that this is actually a clear bottle under here. So when you peel this off of here, you can see that's clear under there. And that really surprised me. I was like, wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> so anyway, what I did was I cut this top part off the, the prune juice bottle. And um, then I, I measured about an inch to an inch and a half uh, around the bottle in four different sections and then I measured about an inch and a half gap in the middle I marked this out with marker first and then I cut snipped out the uh, plastic to make it go up to make it more decorative you don't have to do that you can just put the fringe around it but I wanted it to be a little more fancy okay so again I've 90 percent completed this lid and I've did similar, done similar <laughs> to what I did here with the washi tape. I put little pieces of it on here. And then around here, I put the shiny washi tape to cover the lid. And then I trimmed it out with some jewel tape. So I only have one section left to complete on here. And just to show you what um, has to be done. Uh, you'll see that this part here is not finished with the jewel tape and I did that on purpose to show you what you do is you hot glue this fringe and you can get this fringe now I had this from when I lived in New Jersey I bought it at a place called Foster's it was a really cool craft store up there but down here um, I couldn't find the same exact trim for for this particular one like this one has so I went to Joann's and they had something very similar here this is what this one looks like so you can go to Joann's and get this type fringe. I'm sure you can get it other places too. Um, but you hot glue the fringe all the way around the pattern first. Then you go back over it with the stick-on jewel tape. And that's what I'm going to do now. And again, I pre-cut it. I'm going to remove the back. And just stick it, stick it on there. I hope everybody's day is going well. Today mine did not start out too good and I'm trying to make it I'm trying to make it go a little better than this morning. It was one of those nights where I didn't get any sleep. Woke up and thank God somebody made coffee. And that turned things around a little bit and some kind words from some friends. So the next thing that um, I should say is this in between what I did was I put a strip in between where the V the V goes up on each part so that it helped kind of mark off where you would decorate the section in the middle it just sort of a nice guideline but um, then when you do this part as you can see on here I did a V shape up above where I did this so that's what I'm gonna put this last little 
Thanks to Jules and I forgot to mention too that um, we will do a little bit more embellishment on this project and you can decorate however you want of course but what I did was I took these um, pearl studs that I got at the Recollections brand. I got these from Michael's too and they're self-adhesive and I just stuck one around each point here on the top of the lid. I'll give you a close-up of that so you can see. Um, okay, so now we're ready to put the candle in and light it up. So now on these ones, as you can see what I did, I put some jewels around there too. So you can do that if, if you want, whatever, make it look a little bit more flashy. But for now, put this candle in here and you just snap the um, plastic. This one's a little smaller, but it'll work. Okay. And then you just put your lid on and you have your finished nightlight lamp, decorative item for tables, for parties or whatever, nice gifts for friends. And I'd also like to uh, ask you that if you, ha if you don't follow me on Facebook, if you could follow me on Crafty Recycler and also on Instagram, I'm starting an Instagram page uh, for Crafty Recycler. And thank you so much for tuning in and watching me. And I hope that you enjoyed this and that you are able to do this project or at least um, find some enjoyment in purchasing one of the items and giving it to a friend or for yourself. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And thank you so much again for watching.